evening, g'day, morning. <laughs> well, it's morning here. I always say that, it'll probably drive you mad. Warrior here. Just waiting for just a few of you to come on board. My top looks so bulky. <laughs> I apologise, that's the washing machine, it's um, Sunday and um, wash day for me. G'day Pookies for life, Daniel, Zara, Bianca, rest my family. Hmm. What did you all think of the opening of the Olympics in Paris um, with Celine Dion? What a true inspiration. Even though she's got a rare condition, she never quit. She gave um, her all, admittingly. I didn't understand a word what the hell she was saying. I don't speak French, but, um, well, we've got a Nolan Hong, um, Mags Rooney. I apologize if I'm saying it, Bianca. I thought Celine Dion did an amazing, amazing job. Beautiful voice. She didn't waver at all, and she just showed and said, hey, illness, I'm better than that. I'm coming back and hear me roar, and she did an amazing, amazing job. Lady Gaga did too, but um, I haven't watched it all yet. I must get into that. So what kind of um, sports are you watching, or are you watching the Olympics? Uh, G'day, Teresa, Suvana, Gabriella, Lord... I apologize, that's my Spyro bit. Oi, um, you saying hi to everyone? Come up here. Spyro, come on. Come to mum. No? Okay, but well, that's your right. That's your choice. <clears throat> I see um, some in cycling. Australia has won some gold. And to each and all of you in your different countries out there, congratulations to your teams for winning gold, bronze. Oh, I missed one. Oh, silver. Get the right order there, Shaz. <clears throat> Uh, hi, g'day, blindsided, cuts, cars, Charlotte, <laughs> Jeremiah, g'day to you all. Um, you can share this if you want to, as I said, there's no, you don't have to. Still recovering from a little bit of an adventure yesterday, I need to pull back so you can see me. Um, still a bit tight, but it was so worth it just getting out there. And now, it's raining again, but that's okay. Today's chore day, but I just thought I'll come on here briefly G'day, Red Dog. Um, I'm trying to pronounce some of your names. I, as I said, I apologize if I'm saying things wrong. Pizza lover, hmm. Okay, everyone out there who loves pizzas, should pineapple be on your pizzas? I say yes, but I'm Neil by mouth, so um, when I was used to be able to. Oh, hang on. I might be able to show you who's come up. Oh, she might disappear the time I do that. Where are you going? There you go, that's Spyro who was complaining before. Spyro, where you going? We can only just see your bottom half. Ah, there you go. I'm gonna say good morning, good evening to everyone. No, um, you're only just gonna show a bit of your tail. <laughs> no, you don't wanna say hi to everyone. Hmm? Oh, you come back on this side, oh dear. Hang on a minute, I need to flip these around. You're not sure which side you wanna be on, huh? You've got to briefly see my youngest daughter, <laughs> Spyro Bear. Oh, who else have we got on here? Um, Archer, Shana, Kevin. Don't knock the camera over. Uh, g'day, Shana. <laughs> I'm not in a Halloween costume, but... Um... <laughs> Unless they think you're in a um, costume there, Spyro Bear. Hmm? But no, I just, um, I love the gymnastics and stuff. Swimming, they do inspiration. But as long as you do your best, your best is enough, right? Oh, thank you, uh, TikTok. That is not um, what you think that is around my neck. It's called a neck brace. That is is my Vista collar. That's my traction collar during the day and at night I have a Philadelphia one 
which is a bit more comfortable. Because when I was 19, I had a horse incident, ending up breaking my neck and becoming a quadriplegic. When I was a lot younger, when I was 11 and a half, I got the flu and it caught, the virus caused cardiomyopathy in my heart. But that's okay. Others out there far worse, but I always say that in my, all my lives as well. Everyone asks me, but you can call it a cat collar, but it's definitely not a cat collar. It supports me. I've worn it since I did my injury because I can't have surgery to support my neck. I have osteoporosis. Yes, I do like horses, as you can see in the background. Um, don't hate horses. It was human boo-boo. Um, don't blame them for that. And I have my permobile chair, which um, is quite handy. People say, how do you know when you're turning? I have indicators. Exactly, and that's what I've done. I have proved my doctors wrong all the time and my guardian angels have been there all the time, um, Tito. I have, and um, I won't quit. I won't let this illness beat me. I was given one hour to live when I was 11 and a half. I'm 49 now, and um, I've proved the doctors wrong each step of the way. A survivor of 37 heart attacks, seven strokes. But you know what? I'm not giving in to the, the darkness or the enemy. I'm the light and I will stay positive and no matter what comes around, I will um, I will beat this. And I'm here for a reason. Don't know what that is, but it doesn't matter. And um, if I get too tired, yes, I stay home sometimes, but now I'm getting out there and that's why I created the YouTube channel to show what my support workers and I get up to with adventures, sometimes we do challenges, my wonderful cats, uh, my companion cats, and um, my medical journey, and it's called Wheeling Warrior Fam, if you wanna go over and have a look on YouTube. And I thank you all for, to the subscribers here on TikTok and on YouTube as well. And I thank you for your support. If my channel, or my, our channel, because it's not about me, we as a team, we will inspire each other. Turn the M back up. And it's everyone says, oh, it's about you, Shaz. And yes, that's my name, but I go by Warrior. And um, I don't have any dogs. I've only got cats. So that's never happened. They're trained companions, so I don't have to worry about that. But if they were, we just clean it up and I've got spare braces, so that's okay. But as I said, you know, um, you adapt. You just make changes, um, and my doctor's saying, no, you can't do this. I listen to them, but then I need to do everything in my mind and in my body that I've done everything that I possibly can, and, uh, and as I said, no matter what you're going through, if you don't want to keep fighting or doing whatever, everyone does it differently, but I'm sending you positive energy for me. Oh, so sorry, there goes my... Um, Spyro Bear, keep walking, you're um, being rude. Um, it had nothing to do with um, salt in my body. My heart, um, heart attacks was due to cardiomyopathy. My full condition is congestive cardiomyopathy, etopic artery viral myocarditis tachycardia. And that means I have an enlarged heart, heart failure. I was facing a transplant when I was 14, and then I didn't have that, medication helped me, and it stabilized it for a bit, but, and at the moment, um, I lost the ability due to my seventh stroke to eat and that, so I have two separate tubes in my tummy, one's in my stomach, that's for fluids and medication, and the other one, which I'm supposed to put my feeds up, is in my J, and, um, I can't at the moment. I'm only having five mils of water or hydrolyte or clear soup in there because, um, and my weight's gone from 78 kilos, um, which was last year when I was in hospital on the 21st of October, uh, September, sorry, and then I ended up back in on the 6th of October and then they weighed me and I was 60 kilos. I'm now 52 kilos. My weight's dropping. But we've just, because here in Western Australia, we've got to see if NDIS will cover for me to have TPN at home. 
but we're not sure where we're going on with that at the moment. We're just waiting to see. Uh, no, I don't, I don't feel comfortable to do that, but, um, well, I have to be discreet because I don't want to, but yes, my feeding tubes, yes, I have a dressing, that's my urostomy, um, but no, it's there, it's all covered up, I've got dressings on, so, um, that's one of my feeding tubes, but the other one's a little bit lower, that's, uh, hang on, yeah, that one's my G one, that goes in my tummy, but the other one, it's, it's covered up too much because it's leaking and um, but that's fine some I've had children come up to me and go are you a robot no I'm not a robot but that's okay I don't normally uh, show people my feeding tubes if you um, blend it some people who are tube fed do blend their foods I can't put anything in me at the moment because I have gastroparesis paralysis of the stomach and fail to thrive gut, so I can't absorb anything at the moment. But if I was able to, I would consider blending things, and um, that's why they have tubey awareness, um, and they have all sorts. There's adults and children. We have tubes and stuff. We just eat differently. But at the moment, I'm not sure. It will never go away. This is permanent. But that's okay. Well, as I said, you know, we can all eat differently, we drink differently, we're all unique and we're all beautiful and handsome and special in our unique way. We're not all the same. You can have like someone with my condition with quadriplegia and have a different outcome. Uh, when I was 19, I said uh, I had a horse incident and my friend saddled my horse up but unfortunately didn't put the belt on correctly under the girth of the horse and deliberately loosened it i didn't know i climbed up on my horse the belt came undone flicked up by the rear quarters and the horse reared up i fell off and the horse fell on top of me breaking my neck and my back no i didn't because i didn't know about that at the time i always thought it was an accident and it's coming up 30 years and um on the 13th of August but I always thought it was an accident and they didn't talk to me because of that but it was only on my 25th anniversary of it that um, they called me to let me know that they were so sorry that because they knew I'd been in hospital due to my heart condition as a child that they thought I love being in hospital and all that attention no I didn't but I think all the doctors and nurses were miracle workers but um, as I said you know, such is life. I'm not carrying on that negativity and hate. Yes, I forgive her. Um, I'm doing it for my own sanity. I'm not gonna be angry, that's negative. As I said, life is too short. I've lived 37 years that I shouldn't have had and I'm truly blessed to being here. Has it been easy? No. As I said, will I quit? No. Um, same with my feeding tubes and stuff. Even when I couldn't swallow, I tried everything and I had to do it in my own mindset and that because I had a nasal gastric tube and we were trying to get me to eat and swallow but then they found out I had narrowing of my esophagus and there was no way but I had to do it for my sake that I gave it my all but that was okay um, we learned to eat differently and that's what it's about and um, I know I don't stay in contact with her and um, but that's fine. <laughs> but I'm not gonna hold regrets and whatever. I will just dust myself off, wheel <laughs> around things. And that's why here in Western Australia, I will, um, well, not me, but uh, we, my team, when we go on explores, that's why we put it on the YouTube channel to say, hey, if you wanna come here, yes, it's good, eh, a bit dodgy on, eh, don't come here. And that's why we show people, um, and I will give it a good effort when I go somewhere, but my permabile, it can get stuck. But as I said before in my other lives, I'll um, get a different chair. So I'm not sure if I'll stick with a permabile or I'm gonna get an all off terrain chair, which means I can go on softer ground without getting bogged and stuff. Because some of the things on the YouTube channel, as you will see, um, I was not a uh, professional horse rider. We had a farm and we were just riding as pleasure sort of thing. 
I was more into my gymnastic sort of things as a child, but unfortunately, as I said, my heart condition ended that career. Um, thank you, but no. Um, as I said, don't hate horses. It was not the horse's fault, um, humans. But that's okay. As I said, keep smiling, keep going. And even like me, I'm a warrior. I get tired, I get worn out, but change the day. Instead of going for an explore, okay, let's do a crossword or let's do a jigsaw puzzle. Maybe I'll do some cooking or something, but, um, or if the weather, <laughs> electric here does not like uh, water, so we have to be careful on that one. <laughs> but that's okay. As I said, I will not give in to it. And as I said, if I'm facing having TPN, then that's a different way of thing. I'll have a central line put in. They'll most likely take my J-tube away and stitch that up. The G-tube will still be kept so I can put my medications in because certain medications you can't put into a TPN line. But I'm just waiting to hear about that and um, you'll hear more about that when I know more. <laughs> But as I said, whatever you're going through, oh, if it's your birthday, happy birthday to each and every one of you. Um, if it's your wedding anniversary, congratulations. Um, if you're expecting a baby, congratulations. But thank you to each and every one of you for your support. And um, you would like to share this, more than welcome to, not forcing you. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> I just thought sort I'd of just come on here briefly, have a bit of a talk with you and then um, get into the, my chores. It takes me a little bit longer because I've got limited hand movement, but that's okay. I will adjust. <laughs> I would go and um, make my bed and get that all set up. And as you can hear, the washing going on. So I've got to put that in the dryer and get that all put away. Uh, g'day, Shana. Hope I'm saying that right. Oh, hello, miniature Dashound. Oh, those dogs are so cute. They're just so, it's such an interesting thing. Ooh, well, I'm not sure what that was about. As I said, I'm still learning what to do on here. But if you want to watch this later, you're more than welcome to. So oh, you all take care. Have a wonderful day. Yes, uh, Shana, I'm okay if you watch the, the live after. Um, you'll hear everything that I've spoken about. So I'm going to sign off. Whoops, get my when I can work out when my computer decides to allow me. Okay, we're going down here. Now she's gonna play nicely. And thank you all for the love and support and you all inspire me and I'm sending you positive energy your way. You all take care and I'll be on back on again later.